Welcome to Learning Music Hub. An animated approach in music theory, made clear and easy to understand. In lesson 3, you will be learning about pitches and mnemonic formulas. If you want to read and learn notes quickly, you may always refer to this video and follow on all of our lessons. Pitch Names Before we discuss about pitch names, let's talk about what a pitch is. Pitch is a property of sound and not a music. Any sound can have a pitch. For example, when you speak, a voice has a pitch. Hello. But you are not making are music. You? Same with when you clap your hands. Shake the keys. You are producing a tone with a pitch, but not necessarily a music note. Pitch is the degree of highness or lowness of a tone. When you strike a piano key, percuss a marimba, play the violin, blow a trumpet, that instrument produces a sound wave. Even when you sing, you produce already a sound wave. This is what happens. A sound wave is just the vibrations of air molecules that go back and forth, creating a wave of pressure that travels from the instrument. That produces the sound and is picked up by our ears. Always think that the main property of sound wave is its frequency, which is the word for how fast the cycle of the wave is. Pitch is what our human ear hears, and we understand the frequency. Although it's a bit technical and mathematical, but just realize that pitch is basically the frequency of a note. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch, and the lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. Pitch is actually the most fundamental word in all of the music. Everything that deals with melody and harmony, scales and chords, starts only with the pitch. A music note is a pitch that has a specific name and frequency. Now, we'll be dealing on a study of a musical pitch. Each line and space of the staff corresponds to a musical pitch which is determined by the clef. Those are the treble clef or G clef, or the bass clef or an F clef. Music notes are named after the first seven letters of the English alphabet. Those are the A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Each English musical alphabet has its corresponding or equivalent sofa names. Sofa names are sofa syllables written as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, and Ti. Why sofa syllables? Where did it came from? A music theorist who lived during the 11th century named Guido de Rezzo from Italy, who was also a master of music, set to work to prevent so many sacred tunes from being lost. He assigned the notes of the scale as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, and Ti. These sofa names are arranged in ascending order Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, and Do or the descending order or backwards Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do It's just the same with its corresponding English musical alphabet in ascending form C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C or in a descending form which is backwards. Those are the C, B, A, G, 
F, E, D, and C. Let's memorize the SOFA syllables with its corresponding English musical alphabet. Do is C, Re is T, Mi is E, Fa is F, Sol is G, La is A, T is B. Reverse, C is Do, D is Re, E is Mi, F is Fa, G is Sol, A is La, B is T. The mnemonic formulas. Mnemonic is a system such as pattern of letters, ideas, or associations which assists in remembering something. This mnemonic device or a memory device has something to do with the power of our memory to aid in retrieving or remembering. Some people use as a song, rhyme, image, acronyms, phrase, or a sentence as a mnemonic device or a memory device. In this case, an acronym was used to remember the musical pitch names. And we'll call it as pitch names in the staff mnemonic formulas. The note names on the spaces of the treble clef or the cheek clef spell out as F on space 1, A on space 2, C on his space 3 and E on his space 4 face the note names on the lines of the treble clef or cheek clef spell out as E stands for every on line 1 G stands for good on line 2 B stands for boy on line 3. D stands for DOS on line 4. And F stands for fine on line 5. Every good boy does fine. The note names on the spaces of bass clef or an F clef Spell out as A stands for all on the space one of your base love stack. C stands for cows on the space two of your base love staff. E stands for eat on the space three of your base love staff. And G stands for grass on the space four of your base love staff. All cows eat grass. The note names on the lines of bass clef or an F clef spell out as G stands for good on the first line of your bass clef staff. B stands for boys on the line 2 of your bass clef staff. D stands for do on the line 3 of your bass clef staff. F stands for fine on the line 4 of your bass clef staff. And A stands for always on the line 5 of their base club staff. Good boys do fine always. Let's have a review on these simple mnemonics. On the travel club staff, the space notes are F, A, C, and E. Face. The line notes for the treble clef stops are E stands for every, G stands for good, B stands for boy, D stands for does, F stands for fine. Every good boy does fine. The mnemonics for the bass clef stop 
for the space notes are A stands for all C stands for cows E stands for it G stands for grass All cows eat grass And the line notes of your bass love stuffs are G stands for good B stands for boys D stands for do F stands for fine And A stands for always Good boys do fine always Take advantage of this best and free music app only here in YouTube Learning Music Hub, an animated approach Made clear and easy to understand You can possess all these music lessons Just click like Subscribe and click on the bell button so that you can always get updated with all of our great music lessons that's coming in your way. Thank you.